hello everyone so in this class we are going to learn how we can do the sub interface configuration so in this one what we are going to do we are going to learn how we can do the sub interface configuration imagine i have one switch here and i have the router so let me rename this one i will say this is a r1 this is a sw1 and here we have some vlans and some pcs we have so now what we are going to learn how we can do the sub interface how we can do the inter vlan routing with the help of sub interface so this is a topology if you see here i can say we will write here 192.168.1.1 okay 1.1 slash 24 and we are going to learn how we can do the sub interface so here we are going to use the ip 192.168.1.2 this is a label and now i am going to assign this to the uh, devices so let me go here i will put this ip here and here i will say 1.1 is a gateway and here i will say this is a 1.3 and i will copy and i will go to this uh, machine and i will put here one dot one and here also i can say 1.4 okay so let me put here 1.1 okay and here what we will do we will do the configuration so now we will see how we can do the sub interface in this video we are going to learn how we can configure sub interface and also how we can do the inter vlan so let's take the uh, configuration let's do directly here in this one i will write here no and then after that i will write enable config t and here i put the host name okay and after that what we will do we will take here this uh, interface i will go in this interface interface uh, fast ethernet 0 by 0 I will say no shut and then we will do the sub interface. So interface f0 by 0 dot 1 okay or dot 10 I will give for VLAN 10 I am doing. So I divide this one. After that I need to give here the VLAN. So before that one we need to do the encapsulation dot 1q and here the VLAN number. So this is a VLAN number I give. Then I will write IP address like if we use 192.168.10 one I am using so we will use 10.1 and this is a subnet mask we are going to use okay after that I need to define again I need to divide this in sub interface let me put here again I need to do so I am doing this is the main interface I am dividing this main interface into sub interface for VLAN 20 and here again I will write encapsulation dot 1q and VLAN number this is for VLAN 20 and then whatever IP we want to assign we can assign I will write for 192.168.20.1255.255.255.0 and no need to write no shirt but anyhow I will write so this way we will do the sub interface okay this way we will do the sub interface and here what we can say here I can say 10.0 okay and we use another one is a 20.0 192.168.20. 0 or 1 we can say because I am using 1 as a gateway so this will be here and this PC we can say this is in the VLAN 10 so I will give this IP for VLAN 10 and I will go here I will modify here and this is the gateway 10.1 and same thing here this one also we can say this is in the VLAN 10 so I will keep like this only and the other one we will put in the VLAN 20 so I will go here I will put this IP here and this is the gateway okay so this one we can say this is a VLAN 20 IPC so we will give here 20.2 we can give this way we need to do the switch configuration we will do now so here you will modify here and this is the gateway will be 20.1 this is the gateway so this is IP address we configure now what we need to do in the switch you can go inside the switch and first of all we will create the VLAN interface how many we created for VLAN 20 we created for VLAN 10 we created so now I will go here and I will do for the VLAN 20 so first of all I will go I will do the switch configuration S1 then I will configure the VLAN 10 name you can give IT or any name whatever you want to give and I will give sales for the VLAN 20 
so this way I created two VLAN now I need to put this interface range F0 by 1 dash 2 I need to put these two interface sorry I need to put these two interface this one and this one F0 by 1 and F0 by 2 in the VLAN 10 so what I will do interface range inter okay I mean here so let me exit here interface range F0 by 1 dash 2 and here I will write switch port mode axis switch port axis VLAN 10 with this command we will put this interface in the VLAN 10 after that I will write interface F0 by 3 okay this interface I am saying I will put this interface in the VLAN 10 so we write switch port mode axis and then switch port axis VLAN not 12 20 VLAN 20 so with this one I put in the VLAN 20 and what else I can do here uh, if you see here <coughs> the interface which is connecting to the switch we need to configure that uh, the interface of the switch which is connecting to the router I need to make this interface as a trunk so we will do that one so if you see here in this scenario we have F0 by 4 so I will write switch port more trunk with this one this interface become as a trunk after that we can test now the configuration is done I save the configuration and if you see here you can do like here ping 192.168.20.2 it will work but still this STP is taking time so you need to wait or do the fast forward so it will work now we can ping again so it is working this is the VLAN 10 is working with the VLAN 20 this PC is in VLAN 10 10.2 and this PC is in VLAN 20 so if you see it is working perfectly if you are having confusion I can say these are in the VLAN 10 okay I can write here this PCs are in the VLAN 10 and I can take the some different color here I can change maybe I can take this one and we can say this is in the VLAN 20 okay and we can check it is working perfectly if you need the configuration I will show you show VLAN brief so this is the two VLAN we created and we put in that port and we configure the interface which is connecting to the router that interface this one F0 by 4 as a trunk okay this one is a trunk if you see this one and here only we configure this interface as a sub interface how we configure means I will say I taken this interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 I put dot and 10 and you can give here any number but here should be the correct here you need to give you are creating this for which VLAN that number you need to put here VLAN tag should be correct so I told I will say dot 10 and here is a tag VLAN 10 so here easy to put the same thing this is for VLAN 10 so I will put here 10 so we can easily remember this is for VLAN 10 and I assign this is a gateway for this machine whoever in the VLAN 10 same thing if you see I take go to that interface here I divide here as a dot 20 no need to see this one forget this one by mistake I type this command but here you need to see same like here I done interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 as a dot 10 same thing interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 dot 20 here you can give any number but I am giving the VLAN number only so for troubleshooting purpose we will have easy and by seeing we can remember this interface we created this sub interface for VLAN 20 after that you need to write encapsulation dot 1q and here you need to give the VLAN tag and then after that you can assign the IP whatever IP you want to assign for VLAN 20 and no need to write no shirt because already first time we wrote no shirt but if you want to write you can write your wish that's all after that you can ping different VLAN is working here if you see this is a VLAN 10 is working with the VLAN 20 okay so what we can say this is the sub interface lab in this one VLAN how we can create the sub interface in the router okay and this is also known as inter VLAN routing by using sub interface I hope it is clear in case if you have the issue let us know and also the other name of this one we can say router on a stick also we are calling this lab as a router on a stick okay if you face any issue whatsapp us or write in the video comments we are going to reply you thank you bye